how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel as many of you guys might already know i love making videos on different android skins and one thing that i actually care about whenever i get a new phone is how the software experience is with that said here i've got the oppo find x8 and even though it's not a recently launched phone there is a reason why i keep coming back to this no doubt it's a gorgeous looking phone with a 6.7 inches super amoled 120 hertz display with extremely thin and symmetrical bezels all around and i just love the form factor too but what's even more amazing is how good the color is experience on this beautiful phone it is running the latest color os 15 and today i'll tell you why this android skin can provide you with one of the best software experiences you can get on any smartphone With that said, it's going to be a super interesting video, so make sure you watch it until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. So, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. All right, guys. First, let me talk about the smoothness. Guys, due to the nature of my job, I keep trying a lot of different phones, but trust me, whenever I get a chance to use any Oppo phone, one thing that I immediately notice is how fluid and smooth the whole experience is. I mean, it just flows. The way it goes from the always on display to the lock screen even something as simple as unlocking your phone the way how these live activities expand just look at how fluid and smooth it looks when switching different widgets in a stack folder and even when i open this widgets folder it has this beautiful animation apart from this the app opening and closing animation widgets animation even when you resize the folders everything feels buttery smooth on this phone All I can say is that everything runs so smoothly and fluidly that actually makes interacting with every single element throughout the UI look a lot more satisfying. I mean this is by far the smoothest experience you can get on any smartphone and even though you'll get a very similar experience while using the Oxygen OS 15, I think ColorOS is slightly ahead in terms of fluidity and smoothness. Next, one of the things that I really use a lot is this smart sidebar. This thing works like the edge panel we get on Samsung devices, but not only does it allow you to quickly access all your favorite applications, it also lets you store temporarily anything in this file dock. For example, let's say if you're browsing through your social feed and you just want to save any picture temporarily so you can share it later to someone, all you need to do is simply long press on this image and drag it to the sidebar. Like this, you can store any picture or even documents and later attach them to your email. Share it via WhatsApp or within any app you want with just a single swipe. Similarly, we also get this recent files option where you can quickly access all your recent files and images without having to close the current applications and then go back to the files app. The best part is that this sidebar gets updated in real time and provides you with a bunch of really useful AI smart features too. For example, when browsing the web or reading an article, if you simply open the sidebar, you get features like AI summary and AI speak. AI summary will summarize the entire article for you. and you can use the ai speak feature to read out this entire content that is present on your screen so when you don't have enough time to read then you can use this feature now let's say i'm posting something on twitter i can just use the ai writer from the sidebar describing the situation in a few words and it will generate a whole caption for me with the help of ai similarly i can correct my grammar mistakes and rewrite the text in different tones There is also an AI reply functionality that can help you quickly respond to messages contextually using AI. Guys, all these features work really really well and apart from this, we also get some more AI features. When editing pictures, if you click on this AI editor, you get features like AI eraser, AI unblur, AI enhance clarity and remove reflections. I mean almost every Android phone these days comes with a bunch of AI features but I like the way how the ColorOS has implemented them beautifully that you will tend to use them quite often. I think after Samsung's One UI only the ColorOS has done quite a significant job in terms of AI features. Oppo has recently made a lot of changes to the lock screen and now we do get many customization features. Inside the phone settings when you go to wallpaper and style We get this beautiful interface with a bunch of gorgeous looking themes for your lock screen. We have got some stock themes, then there is calm, pulse, healing moments, light and shadow, blossom, composition and many more to choose from. All these themes actually look really cool on your lock screen 
and not only that we also get the option to change the clock style customize the color and adjust the size as well you can also add some blur and cool effects to the lock screen and there is an option to enable or disable the depth effect as well honestly you do get some beautiful customization features that you won't find on many other android phones and these options will surely make your lock screen look absolutely stunning similarly we do get some useful features to customize your home screens too First we have the option to customize and apply third party icon pack from the Play Store and the best part is you don't have to install any additional app for this simply head over to wallpaper and style and then you can change the pack from there itself not only that you can also change the shape of the app icons apply the system colors and do lot more other than this we also get the option to change the accent color and what's even more interesting is you can also customize the fingerprint animation too Now one thing I have to tell you is I have been seeing a lot of updates on this phone and they are continuously adding new features with every single update. For example, they have recently changed the layout of the recent page and now we can choose between the stack and normal view. Not only that, they have also added the stack folder feature where you can combine different widgets of the same sizes and put it in one place. And there is an option that lets you customize and change the layout of your app folders too. So you get plenty of amazing features and all of them have been implemented perfectly to match the overall design and aesthetics of ColorOS 15. Now apart from these customization features, there are still a lot of useful convenient feature that really make the ColorOS stand out. For example, I can just swipe down with my three fingers to take a screenshot and when I swipe up with my three fingers, it enters the split screen. Again, all these features work seamlessly providing an amazing experience. Not only that, We also get the live alerts that are obviously inspired by the Dynamic Island but again the implementation is really really good which makes you use this feature quite a lot on your Oppo phone. Even the fingerprint unlock can be modified to give quick access to some of your favorite applications and shortcuts. You can also easily hide and lock your apps. I mean just select the apps you want to lock and then when you want to open it it's going to ask you for a special pin. Also you can assign so many useful gestures and shortcuts to make your everyday task a lot easier. All these features work seamlessly without any issue. Finally, if I talk about the software updates, I have been using the Find X8 and the updates are quite frequent on this phone. The best part is they do try to add some new features with every single update. I'm not sure how the update policy works for the budget phones, but if you're using Oppo's mid-range or slightly higher range device, then i'm sure you'll getting updates frequently on your phone so that's pretty much it for this video i personally use a lot of oppo phones recently and i just love the software experience on these devices so i thought why not go ahead and make a video showing some of the best features of colorless 15 and why i feel it has the potential to be one of the best android skins if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one